Hello everyone on YouTube, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome to another amazing reaction video. It's gonna be fucking awesome, I guess. Uh, Hall of Fighters YouTube channel, video called The Top 10 Greatest Hyped... Oh god, I it zoomed in again! Thank you! So now you can see the white text right at the top. The top 10 greatest hype Tekken 7 moments. I'm thinking it's gonna be tournament sets. Uh, so yeah, it's probably gonna be uh, super hype. And this was requested by a dear viewer, which I respect so much. So we're watching this. So let's go. Whoa! Look at this editing! It's already incredibly hype. What was Is someone having a seizure in the background? Jesus. My throat hurts just listening to this. Nice. Yeah, I remember this. Was that in the UK? Yeah, I think it was. Go saying, uh, amazing EU law player. Well, he's from the UK, taking down Cherry Berry Mango. No one saw that coming. Arslan Ash versus Ulsan. Ulsan is playing motherfucking Dragonov? Don't remember this. Wow, it is a season two geese. Yeah, good luck, Ulsan. <laughs> good fucking luck. Like, if you think geese is bad today, like season two geese, like holy shit. Wow, he's just toying around. Yeah. No! <laughs> Fuck you, troll. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Man, Arslan. Why didn't we have a camera on Arslan's face there? Going absolute batshit crazy. Man, he deserved that. He was trolling so much. Wow, I completely missed that moment. Cooldowns versus Asi. Oh. EU Rage Art, let's go! EU Rage Art, this is so hype! European Rage Art spammers. When the bunga pays off. <laughs> nah, yeah, Asima is a god, an absolute god. <laughs> Classic knee. Remove the 2D characters. They were unfair. Should not be in the game. Who does he pick in season 2 against poor JDCR's fucking trash armor king? He picks fucking geese. <laughs> this is why I love knee. He's the best. He always makes me laugh. Always makes me laugh. I love it. <laughs> oh, Armor King is so trash in season two, and Geese is like the complete opposite, totally busted. And he's like, who should I pick against JDCR's uh, Armor King? I'll pick Geese! Ah, uh, very nice. Yeah, you're fucked. Nice parry and combo. Rick Star versus Chanel. 
Oh, this is in season one. When everyone thought Akuma was bad. And Ni was saying, Akuma inconsistent, mid-tier, mid-low tier. And everyone was like, Riksta is a hero for playing Akuma in tournaments. Oh, Riksta, what a god, you know, showing off Akuma in tournaments. Akuma is trash. And then turns out, season one, Akuma busted beyond belief. Busted beyond belief. But uh, that, that's something everyone realized as soon as um, Super Akuma and uh, uh, Avaisani uh, entered the tournament scene and just started smoking everyone. Oh, JDCR versus Ni, and he's playing Feng Wei. Uh, this is an incredible set. You should watch this set in its entirety on YouTube. It's, it's really good. Is this going to be a big comeback for JDCR? While running two, five seconds left. Wow, the sidestep there to dodge the hop kick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, check out this combo now. Unforgettable. Yeah, this is what put Akuma really on the map, this tournament in... I think this was in uh, Marseille. Super Akuma's hometown, so it really meant a lot for the French community. Yeah, Super Akuma was smoking like every Korean, and Cherry Berry Mango in the Grand Finals. That's the tournament that really made everyone understand uh, the potential of Akuma. Oh, Anakin versus Ni. Nee. Great set. And Jesus, yeah, Anakin, man, playing Jack in tournaments. What a god. And now it's going to be a wall, and it's going to be a fucking death fist. No, didn't get the wall. Wow, and yeah, this is season two, Paul. Oh, nice. Rage art. Dragon Knight versus Feng Wei is interesting to watch because neither of these characters has something that's like unbelievably bullshit. Well, except for the Kempo. <laughs> Not Feng Wei's end. Wow, big counter it. Come on, big damage. Rage drive. Edge! Edge! Whoa! Edge! Nice block. Oh! Oh! Oh, beautiful. I think this was also the first time these two actually shook hands after a set. Usually they would just not look at each other, turn their backs, go like this. Uh, but that was great. Uh, very carefully selected moments. But I I'm just sitting here like... It, two clips from this set? Not a single clip from Margin's run at EVO 2018? I'm sorry? That belongs in any top 10 of, of hype moments. 
That fucking face. Um, and yeah, Arslan. Uh, <laughs> Arslan Evo Japan should have been here as well, or Evo Vegas. Uh, my God, and Kudans, unbelievable! It's like, do, do you know this moment right here? This wasn't particularly hype, if you compare it to like. Um, season one, uh, Kudans, if you want a moment featuring a Jack, Kudans in a set versus Saint, um, doing a last second rage art on a backdashing Saint. He's just backdashing for multiple seconds. He has a huge life lead on Kudans. He's going to take the round. So he's just backdashing. And then in the last second... Saint actually presses a button to just quickly KO Kudans. And at, at that exact moment, Kudans rage arts and takes the round. It's just... It's one of the craziest moments I've ever seen. And just a few seconds later, uh, on like the next round or whatever, uh, Saint throws out a down for two at the start of a round. Kudans blocks it. And perfect electrics, perfect electric set for a full launch uh, with Devil Jin. Uh, so again, Jack's down for two minus 14. Devil Jin's electric done as quickly as possible, 14 frames. It, it was just uh, probably the greatest ever uh, set I've seen featuring Kudans. Um, but yeah, if you, if you keep... Uh, Thinking about it, yeah, this was a great list, but there's just so many moments I feel, yeah, war weren't here, but should have been here. Uh, but still, uh, a great list, great list. Uh, so yes, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed my commentary.